Hi viewers, uh, thanks for watching my other videos. I am here again with uh, another very interesting, uh, cool feature within uh, this uh, PowerPoint. Uh, in last video, I discussed uh, and demonstrated this zoom function. Uh, we are going to see a similar uh, feature that is available uh, in PowerPoint that you can use to uh, present uh, during your presentations that will literally transform your uh, presentations to uh, highly rated uh, professional looking presentations without using any of these animation tools and uh, you do not have to be an animation expert or magician uh, to move things around the feature I'm talking about is called morph transition and we are going to use this morph transition to have any uh, anima uh, animation effects and uh, we will see zoom in zoom out effect as well and we can see floating effects as well by using just this morph feature so let's see how this morph uh, feature works so what i want to do i want to add, add another slide uh, and uh, i want on that slide my logo which is uh, in center of the screen to move on uh, top left corner uh, this is my uh, uh, this is my logo or uh, my uh, youtube channel uh, the knowledge junction and i want to for example present uh, or uh, show someone uh, what topics i do cover uh, in my videos so let's see how this works so step one you have to duplicate this slide uh, to another slide so you can see we have two similar slides with the same contents on it go to the second slide and just change the size of uh, the uh, the logo or the picture whatever you want to change and we are going to change the size of this text to uh, size like so that's it that that would be enough and now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this transition menu on uh, your menu bar and select this morph transition here you go this is the morph transition and simple straight away you can see the effect it is uh, without using any of the animations i have managed to get this animation is very very good looking and professional like if i run this slide show, this is my first slide with my logo on and this is my second slide and uh, uh, we have managed to move this logo on the top left corner this is a, a, a one thing i wanted to do with this slide Let's see what else we can do with this morph transition Okay, now let's add a few pictures uh, from uh, my computer uh, like this. You can go and the way I have pictures already saved in my folder, and uh, I am just going those to my presentation over here. These are the five pictures in one go. Okay, so these are the pictures. Let's do some. Uh, uh, some formatting and uh, put them in straight order like this like this this is our SAP and this is our OneNote document okay just do some formatting you can do it in your own time uh, with more cleanly and neatly i'm just going to share the concept that what is the concept behind this move so these are uh, the five topics i'm uh, normally cover in my uh, youtube videos you can have uh, the videos in my on my youtube channel let's apply this so what i want to uh, do i want to discuss these topics one by one and uh, i want uh, to move this uh, word application in my center speak something about and then uh, that word application will move here and then excel uh, icon will move up and by all this by using the transition uh, and this is morph transition the steps are you have to duplicate the slides slide duplicate now move all the string over here and Get this in the center of your screen. You can have anything else uh, wherever you want to display. Uh, just take a text box. I will have here. 
this is word processing application okay let's change to be more okay and then the last step you have to change the transition to morph transition like this and we go animation straight away okay so if i go to the slide slide this is our first slide this is our second slide and then this is our third slide and we are having animation so just to uh, clear the steps uh, let's do it one more time um, i have duplicated this slide uh, below and what we want to do we want this to move further to your left and we want x word to move down and we want this to move here this change this is spread sheet processing application then okay, the last one we want to again duplicate and we want to obviously have a transition and the transition should be a morph transition like that and then we want to have the duplicate and uh, the similar step we want to move this just to your left side we want to move excel to move here and we want powerpoint to go up and we will say this this is slide like building application and that's it you got all your animations and uh, let's say let's see what this will look like when we run uh, the slideshow okay let's uh, run the slideshow here so okay so we have to run the slide the first slide uh, this is our um, first slide then this is our second slide and we are moving on to third slide word processing application and then Excel spreadsheet application and then PowerPoint application and you can see you can have anything else over here you can have charts you can have tables you can have text or pictures whatever but have animation without using any of these animations this is very very simple and very interesting feature uh, you can also use this uh, to have a zoom in zoom out effect uh, I discussed zoom in my previous video you can have uh, uh, that uh, video you can watch that video in my youtube channel uh, but in less uh, next video what i will do i will, I will show you how to use uh, how you can use morph feature to do the zoom in and zoom out another cool trick cool animation uh, that will give uh, your presentations a professional look so please do subscribe to my channel uh, for more and more interesting and uh, very informative videos and uh, thanks for uh, watching